shiny happy people welcome to kimba's crafts my name is kim and if you're new here hello welcome and if you're returning welcome back um so welcome to my countdown to christmas series this is my advent canvas that i kind of did a diy with um just always want to remind everyone that when the painting is complete, it is done by an artist named Randy Woolenman. And I have in the description below uh, links to his website and other numerous paintings of his. Um, he does have a lot of puzzles that there's links to as well. Gorgeous paintings. And I have reached out to a couple diamond painting companies uh, in hopes that they will reach out to him and possibly make more diamond paintings for us to be able to enjoy. So um, that being said, today we are going to be doing number four, door number four. It is December 4th. We did one, two, and three up here. So we have all of those done. And door number four is right here. Mr. Snowman. So we are going to diamond paint that one today and we're going to do it a little different. I'm doing um, a recipe. So I'm not going to be sharing a memory. I'm going to be sharing a recipe. It is my flourless protein pancakes. They're so good guys. Um, and I'm going to be breaking it up into three parts. This is a fairly large square. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready for us and let's see what's inside. Okay, so I got it cut out. And this is our Christmas fact for the day. So that is what we'll be diamond painting. And let me just zoom us in here. So our Christmas fact is, decorating Disney World for Christmas involves 8.5 million lights. 15 miles of garland, 1,314 wreaths, and 1,300 decorated trees, and 300 yards, wait, 300,000 yards of ribbon and bows. Holy mackerel. Wow. 8.5 million lights. Wow. Wow. That is some serious decorating, Disney. We know you are over the top. We know that. So this is going to be the area we're diamond painting. And I'm going to break it up into three sections. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, across the bottom here. And then I'll go ahead and cut it in, in half like this. Um, so where is my, so I'm going to, okay. go right there, okay? Um, and before I start this, I'm going to show you the first part of the recipe. Enjoy. Okay guys, so the first part of making my flourless protein pancakes, is going to be the ingredients. So for me, when I make these now, all I need is egg whites, a banana, and my protein powder. Now, I put out extras so you can see, you could add anything to you want to this. Um, this is Splenda, so if you need to make it a little sweeter, I feel like the banana makes it sweet enough. Um, I also top it with strawberries, fresh cut strawberries. And then of course, if you're gonna use syrup, that's sweet. So I don't add this at all anymore. Um, then I used to add cinnamon. If you want cinnamon, obviously you can add cinnamon. We have extracts here, uh, coconut, cake batter. Cake batter I got off of Amazon. I really like cake batter. Um, I also have added lemon. I used to make lemon blueberry ones, but remember these just add a flavor. They don't add any sweetness. So just keep that in mind. And then baking powder. 
um, if you want it to be like rise a little bit and be a little fluffier. Also, if you want to add fat to it, you can always use a whole egg. It'll make it a little denser uh, than the egg whites. I don't use a whole egg. You know, the yolk is the fatty part of the egg. So one yolk adds five grams of fat. I usually don't have fat post-workout, so I just use egg whites. So those are all of the ingredients. Now enjoy the time lapse and the music. And when we come back, I'll show you how to put it all together. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is the first part and I think it's the bottom is it the bottom of a sled I think it might be about the bottom of a sled but I am going to maybe um section it off like this and yeah now I'm gonna show you what to do with those ingredients and how to make them into pancakes and then we'll do this one all right guys enjoy okay so for me i'm just gonna weigh out my banana you certainly don't have to do this uh i always you you, you know you want to start with zero um so you can you either put this on before it zeroes, or you could put the bowl on and then zero it. Um, if you do weigh, I just need to hit certain macro goals. So I like to just, this is just being extra, honestly. It's not necessary. 
obviously. I'll tell you what the macros are for the pancakes that I make today. So this is 129 grams of a banana. Now, the how ripe the banana does matter. So this isn't like crazy ripe, but it's not, it doesn't have any green in the peel either. So if it had green in the peel, I would probably use more egg whites than if it had less. So you know when the more ripe a banana is, the more moisture there is in it, the sweeter it is, and then the less that it is, if it's green, then it's harder and it's not as moist. So I'll use more egg whites just to make it a little more moist. If it has green in the, the skin, I'll use 40 grams of egg whites. For this one, I'm probably gonna use 30. So what I do is I just mash it up with my fork. I'm just gonna mash it up real good. Like this. So you see how it gets like moist. All right, then I'll zero it. And I'm just gonna add 30 grams of egg whites. And I'll go ahead and mix that up too. So this is the base of our pancake here. Okay, and then I'll zero that. And then you can use any kind of way. I've used, this is gold standard way. I've used Quest proteins, they're really good. Uh, my favorite is Cinnamon Crunch. Uh, I've used, and, and then another one that's really good is, called, it's called My Protein. And I'll put some links below so you can look at them. But I'm just gonna do 30 grams of protein powder. There we go. And then you just mix this up really well. You can use all different flavors. This is just vanilla. Um, vanilla, like anything with cinnamon, cinnamon crunch. Uh, and then there was a cinnamon cereal that my protein makes. They're, they tend to be my favorite, but they also tend to be the hardest ones to find. I like um, cookies and cream from my protein, but I don't like Quest cookies and cream. So there's that, I don't know. And this is the batter guys. So it kind of looks like pancake batter, right? And that's all I put in there and come back to see how I cook it up.
take flight and come true for a heart. sled. I'm not sure though. And uh, some holly here, holly here. So we'll have to finish it up to really know, but I think it's a sled with, we'll see. Or it's like a plaque. I don't know. All right, guys. Now let me show you how to cook it. Okay, guys. So you want to put it on low like a, like a medium, you want it on medium, not a medium high heat, you want it on a medium. So I'm gonna put it on a five. Um, I've, I've kind of been out of practice on making these. And you wanna let it get hot. So normally I would start this before I made my batter, just so it was ready to go, but I forgot to do that. Um, and then you let it get, you want it to be pretty hot or to temperature until before you start your adding your batter. I just use, I don't use oil or butter in any of my cooking. So I use uh, just canola oil spray. Um, I, I like canola oil spray better than, uh, there's avocado oil spray and coconut oil spray and olive oil spray that are all good oils, but they, I don't, I feel like the food still sticks to the pan um, when I use that. So I tend to just buy canola oil spray. So I can feel it starting to get a little hot. I'm gonna add some to the pan. And they're never round like real pancakes, but. And you just let it, you, you don't, 
it just it takes a while so I'll show you when I go to flip Okay, this might be ready to flip. Now, I'm, I'm a little out of practice. I just started re eating these again. I was eating these for like almost a year post-workout, and I got really good at making these. Um, so the reason why you want it on like a medium and not a medium high is because you want it to start cooking the top here. You could use a lid, but I got to the point where I didn't need a lid. I just, I had it down to a science um, without burning the bottom because and that's how you want it. It, it. And of course, as the pan heats up more, it's gonna get a little darker, but that's, you can see it will hold together. You just can't be impatient. I made them yesterday and I was pretty impatient and I was not, like I put the pan up way too high and I wasn't waiting. And then when I went to flip them, they just all fell apart, but it is a good, so you just have to be patient with these. And then that's pretty much all it needs on the bottom. And then I just give it a little quick spray again. And now this, this one will cook up faster. All right, so I always use one of these, I don't know, spatula thingies to get all of the batter out. Because if I'm tracking it, I'm eating it. And I just put it all in there. And I cook it. All right, guys, so there's our three flourless protein pancakes. And then all I do is I top it with some strawberries. So I just, uh, I just take some fresh strawberries and I just slice them on top, like so. And that's how I eat them. I don't add any, um, my dog is begging for strawberries. <laughs> I don't add any syrup. I used to, but I I just think they're moist enough and sweet enough with the banana and the strawberry to not need any syrup. Everyone's trying to live their life. And there we have it. So good. All right, guys, enjoy the last part of the time lapse.
square number four and that is like a sled with a tree in it and a little reindeer and it looks like it is like on a plaque and maybe some ribbon and we have the holly here so I'm gonna zoom us out and we'll look at the whole thing okay guys so there we have it four windows on the advent calendar done. One, two, three, and four. I love the drills and all the colors. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for door number five. I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Canvas Crafts and watch me finish this Advent countdown to Christmas. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.